What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on chapter 6 or part 6 and this is going to be the finale to the SSI Diver Stress and Rescue Program. Now as stated in all the previous videos, please do not use this video or any of the videos in this series to go out and be a rescue diver. Make sure you're seeking out your local SSI Diver Stress and Rescue instructor to get properly trained. Our videos are simply here as a review series for you to hopefully pass your final exam. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into chapter six. Now in chapter six, one of the things that your instructor is going to hop on, of course, is the complications during a rescue. And simply put, what can go wrong during a rescue or what can hinder you from performing a rescue, whether it's environmental, equipment related issues, or even maladies, diving maladies, such as maybe that diver just had a medical issue and it wasn't actually diving related. These are things that you're going to have to consider during the rescue itself, both before, during, and after the accident has occurred, and so that you can make sure that this diver is getting the proper treatment that they had. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for chapter six. And yes, this was a very, very short chapter. But like I said, your local SSI Diver Stress and Rescue instructor is going to teach you the techniques and the skill sets that you need to overcome these complications during a rescue. Guys, once again, please do not use this video or any of the videos in our series to go out and be a rescue diver. Make sure you're seeking out your local SSI Diver Stress and Rescue instructor to get the proper knowledge, skills, equipment, and experience to be an efficient and successful rescue diver. Because I really hope you you enjoyed this video and this entire series of the rescue diver program if you did give me a big thumbs up definitely share it if it helps you pass your test let me know down in the comment section below how well you did during your final exam but guys that's going to be it for this series and for this video so until our next one take care god bless and i'll see you in the next video